hello everyone hope you're doing wonderful today welcome to another video in today's video we're going to be making the 3d resin flower on this 10 inch silicone mold so a few things before we get started uh, this is the first time i'm doing this on a slightly larger scale than usual usually for the smaller mo smaller molds i kind of eyeball how much resin i need so as to not waste too much of resin but uh, when you when you do it on a larger scale it's uh, it's good to sort of have a have an estimate of how much resin you might need you do not want to have you do not want to fall short of resin because as you know you need to reach the right consistency to make your uh, design so you don't want to fall short of resin so i've used a resin calculator to estimate how much resin i might need so it says i need around 300 to 350 grams of resin for a 10 inch round diameter mold it has a depth of around uh, 2 to 3 mm i believe so the first thing you do is uh, take your resin uh, mix it nicely the clear part and the hardener and uh, keep it aside for at least 10 minutes so i've poured uh, my base layer and I'm gonna just leave this so that uh, the bubbles can rise to the top and then we're gonna wait for the right consistency to make our designs few more points before I move on to the main design uh, I'm actually uh, doing this work in a different uh, location than my usual and here the weather is actually hot and humid and that actually affects your resin so the mix is actually curing much faster than usual i also have carried uh, cups as i've shown above so for 300 grams of resin I, I poured it in three different cups 100 grams each so what happened was the 100 grams that i poured and mixed first started to cure much faster than the second and the third so you have to keep that in mind when you're mixing your resin next time i would probably just mix it in one large mug instead another thing i forgot my ziploc bag so i'll be making the designs using my popsicle stick so this is going to be interesting we're going to see how this one turns out for this flower i'm using peach color in the middle and uh, surrounded by white so i've taken 20 grams for this uh, size 20 grams each so 20 grams of uh, resin mixed with two drops of white pigment i have not put any alcohol ink in either of the colors so i started with the peach in the middle and uh, i wanted to do peach then followed by white peach followed by white but i was not really happy with the with the result of the peach color so i decided to just uh, instead follow everything up with only white so as you can see no ziploc bag i am uh, making the design just using the popsicle stick so the disadvantage here is that uh, it's not uniform some places it's thin some places a little bit more Again, by right consistency of the resin, I mean that the resin should not be too thick, not too thin. So when you do, when you make the design at this time, the white ink will not sink.
once you make the petal design then uh, using your heat gun on low um, blow heat into the petals from out to in so what this does this does is uh, hopefully will make the white pigmented resin uh, spread towards the inside thus giving the shape of petals Uh, remember not to use too much of heat because uh, this will make the resin fluid and in turn will cause all the white pigmented uh, resin to sink to the bottom so just enough to make the petal spread out so we're going to allow this to cure and we'll see how this one has turned out tomorrow It's the next day moment of truth it looks looks good at the back so hopefully it's it's the same in the front all right let's see how it looks right here we go oh not too bad turned out much better than i thought it would so you can see in a few places the ink has actually gone to the bottom the white ink white pigment which basically means that the lines were not uniform some places the lines were a bit too much some places it was just fine so what do you think guys few important lessons learned uh, make uniform lines to get a uniform design mix all the resin in one cup or one mug the weather will affect your resin so keep that in mind and finally when you're working on a larger base if you don't know how much resin you need calculate it using a resin calculator you will find it on websites that sell resin do give this video a like it will help me out a lot all right that's all for today guys so thank you so much for watching do subscribe comment like and share for more videos and i will see you soon in the next one